what King Browns are really for. You just got to waft. Oh, you looked at the cat moving behind me. <laughs> Gee whiz. That smell is driving him nuts. It's like me with ice cream. And open it. Don't get too close. You can smell that. That's probably a delicious, delicious smell to him. A newborn marble that didn't last. Here we go, Azulu, my Mulga, aka King Brown. And we've got a newborn, stillborn, marble. That's probably in there, in the wild, the Mulgas or King Browns. They're a retired. So for him to smell this is just driving him insane. He's loving it. Is it too small for your liking? He's just used to tripping over his food. So he knocked it away, he hit it so hard. <laughs> he knocked it flying, Goose. Not the sharpest tool, are you? Mm -mm. He's so used to being hand fed, everything spoon fed. But I don't think I've ever seen him react to food so eagerly. Imagine he had to hunt for himself. <laughs> Think you could eat it any quicker? I'm gonna get a screen out a screenshot out of that um, video when snake hanging out each side of his face and his tongue hanging out. No, mate, there's only one. <laughs> He's a goose, ain't he? You could eat 1,000 of them. He thought well, that was just like me eating one fruit. But can I have the rest, please? You have something on your face. On your chin. Trying to eat the paper too? Mm, probably. <laughs> 